Welcome to Paradise and welcome to the channel. So you got yourself an action cam and now you're out there shooting underwater video. But the quality of those videos isn't that great. Well, never mind, because today we're going to look at how to improve the quality of your underwater footage, both by getting the best out of your camera as well as by brushing up your skills. When somebody wants to know what camera they should buy to start shooting underwater, 90% of the time I say buy an action cam. Why an action cam? Because they are very versatile. They do not require a colossal investment up front. They have an easy workflow. And if you follow the steps that we will look at, you can actually yield some really great footage. What action cam you're gonna get depends on your budget. Personally, I favor GoPros. That's because I've always used those, and to me, they're the most rounded package. On today's video, we're going to use the brand new GoPro Hero 9, but these tips actually apply to most action cams out there. First tip is get a dive housing for your camera. Even though the camera is watertight for up to 10 meters, and that's fine for snorkeling and for some shallow diving, if you go deeper, you want to get a dive housing. This one here lets you take the camera down to 60 meters. There is three things to consider though. One is the seal. Whenever you close the housing, make sure that there is no dirt or debris on the seal. Otherwise, it won't make the housing watertight. The other thing is keep that seal nice and fresh best thing to do is get some seal grease, put it on your seal, and that will keep your seal working perfectly. And the last thing is close your housing carefully. There's nothing more annoying than being underwater and realizing that you have a leak because you didn't close the housing properly. Second is avoid any humidity inside of your dive housing. This will cause fog to build up and it will make your footage unusable. In order to avoid fog, use some anti-fog strips, you can buy them or you can make your own very simply by taking a paper towel, rolling it up, cutting into pieces and putting those pieces inside of your housing. And then once you prep the camera, get a bucket of water, put the camera and the housing of course closed inside the bucket, leave them there until you're ready to go diving and then take them out and your camera won't fog up. The third tip is get smooth. There is nothing worse than shaky footage, especially underwater. So you can start by getting yourself a selfie stick like this, putting the camera here and nice and gently, but firmly holding it, you can carefully go about shooting your footage. Even better though, is get yourself a tray, something like this. Two hands make it even more stable to film underwater. And that paired with the great stabilization that most cameras have now, will yield you some really smooth footage. Little pro tip is we got the quick release here. You can clip that onto your BCD so your rig will always be nice and secure. The other thing, a rig lets you add arms like this one here, and that will allow you to put some lights on your rig, which is opening a completely new world. Tip number four is use lights. The deeper you go, the more color you lose. You know this, especially after 10 meters, all your reds, your oranges and your yellows are gone. So just get some dedicated video lights, something like this, get one or get two, depending on your budget, put them on your tray and start experimenting. But you will see that bringing those colors back underwater will yield you some really nice, crisp and well saturated images that look great. Lights are, by the way, a whole topic by itself, so I won't dive too deep into it, but if you guys want, and you want me to make a video only on lights, let me know in the comments and I'll make one. Tip number five has to do with editing. If you edit your footage, leave your camera color profile set to flat. Here, rather than using the inbuilt color, you get more detail in the shadows and highlights. It's a higher data capture with less compression than the default GoPro color. That means that editing is easier. You can balance out bright and dark areas while maintaining good color throughout the image. Tip number six is set your camera to 60 or 120 frames a second. This will allow you to go into post-production and actually slow your footage down, getting some battery smooth footage. And this is a great way to reproduce that unique and magical slowness of the underwater world. 
Tip number seven is stay shallow when you film. That's maximum 10 meters. Like we saw when we spoke about lights, within those first 10 meters, you have the highest range of color still hitting your camera sensor, making sure that you get well lit, crisp and really nicely saturated images. And the other nice thing about diving shallow is that you can stay there for longer because you're gonna need less air. Tip number eight, think about your camera angles. When you start off, it is really tempting to just shoot everything from above to down below, but what this does is it makes everything look very flat. Instead, try to get level with your subject, or even better, shoot in an upwards angle, lifting your subject against the background. This typically looks a lot better, but just go out and experiment with your camera angles. Tip number nine is get close to your subject. Set your GoPro to linear. This will give you a straight horizon and a much more natural look, eliminating that typical barrel distortion which the GoPro has in white. Of course, do this if what you want is this look. If you're going for a wide look, then let the GoPro work in wide. Tip number 10 is Take your time when filming. It's very tempting to go into the water and start filming left, right, up and down. But do actually plan your shots a little bit and think about them. So once you go into the water, select a subject, frame and compose your image the way you want it and then let your camera work. Let it shoot for at least 10 seconds. It doesn't cost you anything. And you will find that once you go back into post-production and you start selecting your shots, you will yield much, much, much better footage. And finally, practice, practice, practice. You will not become a great underwater videographer within four dives. What you need is time and repetition. And then there's another thing which is almost a premise, I dare to say. Before you even contemplate going out, buying a camera and starting shooting underwater, make sure that you up your diving game. This means that you get excellent in the water skills, perfect buoyancy, great trim, equipment knowledge, and very good behavior under the water, especially when it comes to communication with your buddy. I'm just saying. Right, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'm actually shattered, it's super hot, and I'm gonna take the afternoon off because after almost eight months of lockdown in this little piece of paradise, time has come to fly home tomorrow, which I'm very much looking forward to. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a thumbs up. If you like the tips that I gave you, drop a comment below. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Subscribe to the channel, stay well, and as always, keep your souls wet, and see you next time.